Namaste. I am Samir, your guide. I am proud of my country and wish to share India's heritage with you. So today I am taking you to Bagru, the village town which is not too far from the pink city Jaipur, about 32 km away from the city Jaipur. And in today's video we are going to understand and going to experience the art of block printing yes the hand block printing on fabrics bagru is known for its amazing art and its artisans who do the work on beautiful fabric and the nice way in which they do here there are certain kind of the things which you are able to see the man is printing on it the most important object in this printing process is the block which is designed in the wood even nowadays the metal is also in use here it is the wooden block and it is made from the teak wood and teak wood as it is the hardest wood this is the way in which the artist do make the designs on that wooden block here on paper and then slowly and they do create the pore in it to pass the air easily the designs are geometrical and the floral also here are the pores and then they do dip into the particular dabu that is a material which is mix of several kind and it will be printed on the off white base which you are able to see at here this is the artisan here you can see in my hand that's the wooden block and I am dipping it yes that's a nice touch which has been given to that wooden block with the help of the material and then it will be done by border and that's the coloring process I will call it a color wheel in which after printing after drying under the sunlight the first process is done the second is the coloring process here this magician the color man is dipping them completely inside of that color wheel which is having the organic colors yes they are the colors which are collected from the vegetable dyes or stone colors also sometimes here this man is making the border the design step by step he is creating this is a liquid greasy substance which is having the main material the fuller's earth and then they do have acacia gum and some more ingredients in it step by step that is the biggest difference in the machine made and the handmade that in the handmade you can find sometime there is a little bit uneven pattern although the skills with the time they do learn that make them perfect and after doing this process they will spread this particular acacia gum powder on the top of these printed off-white fabrics the use of this acacia powder is the wooden powder that it will absorb the extra greasy surface and that will be making it much more useful that it will not spread and it will once the time of the drying process will come it will get proper dry under the sunlight here is the owner of this particular workshop and I'm here to 
make you understand this particular art of the hand block printing and happy to share the knowledge with you that how the process is done I will be taking you on less traveled path and some amazing historical as well as the art and craft look at the wooden block amazing designs with the time the patterns has changed here also you can see the floral pattern although during the time of the Mughals they have started even geometrical patterns also here is the geometrical pattern and geometrical patterns because ultimately the Islam doesn't allow any kind of the human or animal figures that's the reason it is much more the floral and the geometrical designs are very popular and they do make them vibrant also looks very smart and that suits each and every culture of the world and here there is a big collection of all these wooden block are and this is after the drying process the first process when it is done after that process as you can see after drying under the sunlight then the coloring process do happen one by one they will pick up the pieces and will dip down them in the color wheel beautiful indigo blue yes and this coloring man is having a vast experience to do it the well is something about 16 to 18 feet deep yes time to time they do make it clean also once they do feel that yes now they have to make it clean then they do empty all these areas means the color wheel and they do put it the new colors in it here the second the geometrical designs how easily this man is able to do it even when you are on a trip you can try also your hands now they are taking these to dry under the sunlight they do have their ground so come early start your day early and then get the proper space to make them dry here the lady as well as the man are doing the work of trying making them flat on the ground no worry about the animals or because here all these people are taking care of their fabrics their things which are now on the ground under the sunlight because sunlight do play a key role in this complete process of the hand block printing if you will dry them early they will get much more well dried without any disturbances because as in the cities as this town is turning into a town means the big town although earlier it used to be a small village but now it is a growing village town so there is a space is much more limited and this land is generally owned by the community people there is a particular community the cheapers like the gentleman who is in front of me mr govind who also belong from the chipa community and these are the people who do have a community share on this land that is a good idea to have a community share on the land that we are going this explaining about it that how they do come in the early morning so they can get a proper space to dry their beautiful fabrics after getting them out from the color wheel yes this whole land is like their community property neither the private property nor the governmental property but it is a community property the chipa chhipa that is the printers community so the whole credit goes to these people the community people as well as the rulers who has ruled on this land who gave a proper space to this art and tried to flourish this art with the time so these artisans can create amazing designs and this art can survive and that can flourish with the time so the land was also allocated to the printers community by the former royal or the ruling community people 
from these areas. Those were called Thakus, T-H-A-K-U-R-S. And they were reporting to the Jaipur Maharaja under the rule of the Jaipur King because Bagu is not too far from Jaipur, 32 km only. And this land is particularly covered or very well guarded by these houses, the walls, which are everywhere. So there is not much more fear of the stray animals like cows or the dogs. They hardly do come in these areas. Here the gentleman with the big bike. Yes, loaded fully. And I'm going to talk with Mr. Govind about this art and how the things from that much long back of the time, the heritage art it is. Because from the very, very long time, this art is running. And even after coming of the machinery system, as Mr. Govind is saying, that they are able to generate a good revenue, although because of the pandemic, they are getting the trouble as there is not much more tourism activities are happening. But as there is a big demand is there into the world about the Indian fabric. And that is the thing Mr. Govind is happy that at least this art is surviving and the artisans are able to get the job. That is good with the technology. They have tried to make them adapt with the technical system also but they do oppose the machinery use into the fabric because there is the screen printing which fabrics looks very much similar to the hand block print but my friends believe me there is no comparison at all about the screen printing and the hand block printing because hand block prints they are much more organic way to create the prints and that is the thing the main concern of that printer community's person Mr. Govind who is telling all these facts to me and that is the talk which is going between me and the artisan. So I'm trying to explore and trying to ask those interesting questions from Mr. Govind and he is a happy man who is really happy to share all the detailed things and the way and the process and how they do the marketing of these things and how they are able to survive even after the machinery system has been come and although the machine prints are really less expensive compared to the hand block prints but Govind is saying that they are happy to do the hand block prints instead of the machine print and that is good although some of the community people has moved towards the screen printing even in his village town also but the community most of the community people are not much more happy with it that is the thing which Govind would like to highlight and here we are on the way towards the washing plant and you can see a lot of flat clothes are there. Wow, what a design, what an amazing eye-catching designs and a beautiful indigo blue. Here we are on the washing plant. They are also much more common, not owned by one person actually, but they are shared. And here is the washing tub, I can say the washing tank that's such a tough exercise not much more easy after getting them dry under the sunlight after the coloring process they do reach a tear for the washing so there is the test that they are the organic color they will not fade with the time they will remain forever on those beautiful fabrics here dipping them down into the cold water tanks and this man is standing into the water up to his knees yes not an easy task my friends not an easy task so dipped down taking them out then pressing them and then beating them and then they will be taken again on the drying ground no soap no caustic powder is in use at here it's a simple wash with the cold water 
that's the process you need very strong muscles to do this task because the length of the fabric the material is sometimes very much long and heavy sometimes they are short but most of the time they are longer that's how they do this man is saying that I'm happy to do this they do in the early morning hours with the more energy more sun and that's how they do after washing they have taken them back on these flat ground areas where they will dry them under the sunlight so nature do play a key role they are eco-friendly organic in all the ways without sun sunlight there is no possibility to do this kind of the art so nature has blessed my country with the perfect sunlight sunshine sunlight more energies and with the skilled hands who can create amazing designs with their skilled hands skilled mind so that's how they do this washing process and after the washing these are on the ground after drying them on the ground they will be taken to the final process and that will be ironing yes here are some of the houses of the gypsies community who do come in these village town areas in search of some job time to time from the far desert part also poverty is there but happiness is in there colorful houses here we are driving towards the place where they do the packing the ironing process yes that's the Indian secret camels yeah the pottery is also commonly seen in this village town so villages do have their here here we have reached on the point I'm holding this big heavy log of the printed and ironed stuff. It is really heavy. I'm feeling this weight. But this is ready to export material is there because indigo, the blue, the white is is having such a contrasting feature and that attracts most of the people and it is again a floral kind of the design which is very simple design and everybody is happy to hold it here i'm on that machine the iron machine so this is the point where we do need these big machines means the use of the machine and the final process is there to make it easy convenient and fast so the complete log is taken at the other side of the machine for the iron like these boys are just after doing the iron they are just folding them making the roll properly and then step by step look at here done and that's going in one block please subscribe our channel and enjoy these kind of the videos stay tuned